In today's update, I had originally planned to continue working on the gas station and to start designing a facade on the open area so that the side view would become more appline. And for Tunitali, that won't be happening because I made a significant mistake in my planning. As you can see in the current image, the facade I intended to use doesn't match at all with the half timbered houses or the gas station. Additionally, I'm scrolling with three different high levels originating from the facade which complicated the situation. Another problem is that the road slopes downward here, which means the stance from the building, won't align anymore. There would be gaps between the windows which is not ideal. Therefore, I have decided to place this house at a different location spontaneously. Now the question is where will it place this house? We will tackle today. As you can see in the image, there will be a wooden plate added to the front left and there's where the house will go. You can see the trunk tracks which I had started working on two or three updates ago and I have to tear up the entire street to create a green base. I can happen quickly, the base has changed. What seemed quick actually took me four to five hours because I had to tear up the entire street. What will happen with the leaves on the tram tracks is still uncertain. Take a look at the area that has been added today. If it's developed today, I believe it will completely change the street's appearance and then I'll decide how to design the green stripe. Then it will begin the first parts will be installed on the new area, starting with the street which is now 9 starts wide per core in the car. I will continue building the sidewalk at the end of the episode. For now it was important to me to get started so I can place the building nicely on the new area. I've marked everything here and we can also start building the first floor at the same time. Although I must say whether is the end of the first floor I don't know yet. The building will have a cinema and I'm not sure what hall the theater rooms will be. It's not that simple, but I think that the high windows, there's definitely a lot of room at grade and the sand cinema hall. The building will have two entrances, one on this side, where there will also be a one-way street and a sidewalk. And here, where the black bricks above the windows have been installed, this is where the investment to the movies playing at the cinema will be placed. The same goes for the main side, where the same setups for the advertising will be. Now on this side, the table will be extended later to grade a complete roof of houses. But for now, it's easier for me to build this way. Another window has been installed here. I also want to add a driveway where to eventually have parking spaces for the cinema. Before we continue building and place the second floor, let's take a look down the street. I'm really glad the house fills so well the street so far, if though mansions might facade the tiles are still missing. You can see the slots here, which I definitely add something to later. But first we will place second floor. Although I think I can't really cut into second floor here. But I think you know that what I mean. Unfortunately, I'm of parts of the facade now. I need more windows than I told you plain for the house I wanted to build next to gas station. But I'm still made quite a bit of progress. The black arches also need to be changed to medium dark flesh. Just like on this side where I'm completely run out of parts. But this will definitely continue in the next episode. Which of course doesn't mean that the episode is over because there is definitely more to come. Sidewalks still need to build and we also have the decorations on the first floor. And we'll continue with the right way way. This is what raw element looks and the light decorations. Here I solved with jumper plates but it also works without them. There are really not limits here to getting to perfect facade. You can can currently see for different patterns. Naturally, it is difficult to decide which pattern to choose. 
I have now decided on the pattern on the right. Lighting has also been added here, but it's not really illuminated. What will it look like in the end? I believe I will only see once on the second floor is finished and the roof is in place. Then I can change in like this. By the way, I have a run out of the parts again, and it's clearly now to many parts are already in this building. I slightly understand in mind that, but while there's on the side, we'll continue right all the way with the sidewalk and the one-way street. Railings, floor boxes, and I also changed something on the street. I added a pedestrian crossing here, which enhanced and the street nicely. And if you take a look down the street, I think the picture already looks really impressive and well done. I had to something about it now, so I can eventually think about how to solve it. Actually, I wanted to build the whole thing modularly. Whether I will work out, I don't know. Look at the slope and look at that slope. The whole thing is now really misleading because the wooden board falls down from non edge to the table and the tram goes up from one edge on the table on the other edge of the table, making the slope of the tram seem quite step, even shorter and having been a high difference of two plates over the length of the track. Of course, the function is important after the appearance whether the tram can wonderful go down and up there. But it already works quite well, except for the beginning of the slope, where it is still a bit bumpy. I will definitely think about this carefully to find a perfect solution. Until then, the wooden board will stay at the until I figure and how to proceed. To include this episode, we will now take care of the front sidewalk. My son has already fully tiled it. Now the question is what to place on the sidewalk. Are normal minifigures enough to fully leave them on the street here? Or do we still need some greenery? I decided to add two flower beds, each with a tree and some flowers. I also placed the minifigures. I think the saints arranges the street well and we eventually add the street going down or on the other side I will make for a nice picture. Currently you can only see the stone storage from the side but once the row of houses is complete I hope it will look good. Now a quick word about the next episode. We will definitely continue with the cinema, with the auditoriums and maybe a small restaurant. I'm really excited to see how I look in the end. Now, I'm curious about your options on today's progress and I say goodbye. Thank you for tuning in. See you soon and ciao.